everyone. It's the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time. I'm sure you've heard of knock knock jokes and I'm going to tell you some today. Are you ready? Um, I have Miss Mary Ann here with me and she's going to help me with it. So knock knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo hoo. Why are you crying? <laughs> Let's do a few more. Knock knock. Who's there? Tank. Tank who? You're welcome. Knock knock. Who's there? Canoe. Canoe who? Canoe come out and play. Knock knock. Who is there? Orange. Orange who? Aren't you glad this is my last knock knock joke? <laughs> so the Bible tells us about a time Jesus was talking about knock knock knocking. So I'm going to go ahead and read the gospel and some of it is going to sound very familiar to you, but go ahead and just listen to what Jesus has to say to us today. So a reading from the Gospel of Luke. May Christ's words be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. One day, when Jesus was teaching his disciples about prayer, he said, When you pray, pray like this. Father, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come. Give us the food we need each day. Forgive our sins, because we forgive anyone who has hurt us, and keep us from doing what is wrong. Then Jesus said, let me give you an example. Suppose you go to a neighbor's house at midnight and say, please lend me some bread. A friend of mine has just arrived from a long trip and I don't have any food. Now your neighbor might say to you, don't bother me now. It's late. The doors are locked and we're all in bed. But if you keep asking, your neighbor will get up after a while and give you what you want. Then Jesus said, ask and you will have what you ask for seek and you will find what you are looking for knock and the door will be opened for you when children ask for food their parents don't give them a stone or a snake that would hurt them no they give them what is good for them in the same way god will give the holy spirit to anyone who asks the gospel of the lord and we all say praise to you lord jesus christ so Jesus used this story to tell his friends and us to knock on God's door by asking what we need. Did you recognize in the reading we often use, uh, a prayer we often use? What is that? It's the Lord's Prayer or the Our Father. The words were a little different in here, but you probably recognize parts of it. Jesus said prayer is a way to ask, seek, and knock. I always remember that by the letters A-S-K, ask, ask, the S and seek, and the K and knock, ask. Jesus even taught his disciples a way to pray. Jesus tells us to pray often. God loves us and reaches out to us, and we respond by praying to him. We can tell God our hopes, our fears, and our needs, and we can pray to him anytime and anywhere, in good times, and in not so good times. And we can always thank him for loving us and sending his son Jesus to save us. So let's pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. For the church, that we may be open to God's generous love and be filled with gratitude for all the ways God has provided for us. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who bring food to our table each day, that God will bless abundantly those who farm the land and all who provide the food we eat. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those things we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. So let's finish today with the prayer that Jesus taught us in our reading today, the Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, just, I wanted to let you know that the registration forms for class next year are now available on the Faith Formation page of the parish website. See you all soon. God bless.